Okay, so um, I've just started to read a horror novel in Braille. Okay. And something bad's about to happen. I can just feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Virtually Real. This is Rachel, and the quote of the day is, give me some f***ing more ammo. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this the game or the headset that is making it so much better than any other game I've played? <laughs> oh shit, sorry. <laughs> Was that your window? Oh, why am I pointing? <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh, scary. Oh, scary. Oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. There was another one, wasn't there? My health is already full. Excuse me. <laughs> Round of applause for the fucking game designers. This is scary. Hi everybody. Hi Rachel. Hey kids. Welcome back to Virtually Real. Thank you. Now, today's game was Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 8. What were your first impressions? Oh, my God. It was amazing. The um, the visuals were really good compared to any of the other games that you've put me on. Like a con kind of completely different game. But, yeah, it was really cool. The whole um, – I found the controls quite easy compared to other games. Again, very cool. A bit scary but fun. Okay. I'll finish dinner. Go, 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 go. Up the stairs, don't trip. Precious cargo. Uh, Shooting the beds upstairs. Uh. Can we run with the baby in our arms? That's a bit, uh, hee hee hee. Beautiful. Well, you said you'd be right downstairs, so I guess I'll go back downstairs. What a beautiful old house they have. Is the wife cooking something f***ing weird for dinner? Don't understand why you are so... Ah! Mina, get down. That was a delayed reaction. Oh! Ah! Oh, Jesus! Help your wife, you bastard! Number one, the game looks amazing. The design that's gone into it, I think you complimented the game designers at one point where it's just the amount of detail to, in all the models, the textures, the yeah. environment, it all just kind of works. Yeah. Now, uh, you did a tutorial. Yes. Got you acquainted with the guns and the knives and the moving around. Yes. And then it thrust you into the main story. It started off with that little kind of um, fairy tale story at the start. Did you enjoy that? Oh, yeah. That really confused me, actually, because it was such a different style. I thought, oh, is this an ad for another game? But I was like, okay. And then it turned out it was the story the mum was reading, and that was really cool. Oh. 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 Oh, gross. Oh, gross. I don't know why I'm walking this way. Blair Witch Project. Oh! This is creepy as shit, but it's like, oh, oh, okay. I was really hoping for a weapon that might make me feel a bit. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh my god, am I getting trapped in here? Do I run? Is that. Ah, ah yeah, bitch. Oh, I crawl under it? Ew. Where the hell am I? Oh, this is sick. Look at that. Carrying the baby to bed? Weird? Yeah, very weird. And like, why am I doing that? Why did I do that? Was it just to give me a connection to the baby I so that so. I wanted to go and save it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, well, let's take up where the story ended. You, you got the baby, you put it in the cot. What happened next? Uh, went back downstairs to have a nice wine and meal with my 
uh, wife. Oh, and then someone broke in and like shot her about a hundred times. It was way too many. It was like a vindictive kill. And then they like, like, um, what happened? knocked me out <laughs> <laughs> and dragged me away. You look, you probably got a bit of memory loss because they knocked you out. So it's all right. You don't understand what words mean. Yeah. Struggle Street. <laughs> Ew. Oh, okay. They're demon worshippers. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, my God. The horse got dragged away. Jesus. Oh, I got a knife. Yes, boy. Better get him at the ready. <gasps> ah! Don't shoot me, bitch. Oh god, oh god, something took him. Ah! Oh, this is foul. Ew. 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 Oh my god, it's eating me. Oh my god, now I'm gonna be a zombie. And then you wake up, basically, you're mm. all alone in the snow. And you start to find your way through. Yes. And they actually, it was really like intuitive how they made it feel like you were like finding the way, but obviously they were directing you the way. It was really good. Walking through the snow and. Yeah. You don't notice that you're kind of really being tunneled. Yeah. But you really are. And then you come out on that beautiful village. Now, the big question is, were you scared at parts? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And like panicked. Like you get that like. I don't know what to do. Uh, grab. Fuck yeah. Uh, oh! Ammo. Gun. Gun. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> huh? Is that him? Or is that some food that they dropped? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You f her. Die, bitch! Ah! Uh, why is they sitting there? <laughs> gun, gun, oh, I... Give me my knife back. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking, just get it. Get it, you can get it. I'm right in the <laughs> <I'm still myself>. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cut their heads off with this? Now this is kind of coined as like an adventure horror game. Mm. So a lot a lot of exploring, a bit of crafting, yes. a bit of gunplay. Um, but it is it's it's that nice balance between exploring and then all of a sudden you're fighting zombies. Yeah, actually, yeah, it was really well balanced. And it, and I think it must have been the sound design that helped you feel like, oh, okay, now it's safe. I can walk around and open drawers and stuff. And then when you were, like, actually supposed to be doing something, like, active with your gun or something, it the sound design must have changed because you really felt it. And how did you feel the story versus how, how was the pacing of the game for you? Yeah, really good. Um I, I, without your help, I would have spent a lot more time just wandering around. Um, but I guess, like, that's the fun of the game, right, is that you can spend as long as you want just looking around and doing stuff, which would have been fun, um, really fun, actually. And, um, yeah, they had, like, little points where it would, like, move the story forward, like, a couple of notches, and then you would, like, look around again for a bit. Oh, my God, it's the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Sweet little village girls, don't kill me. For f sake, she just locked me in here with them. You want to put it in the maiden? The maiden, yeah, obviously. The other one is a big goat head, so I think I'm going to get in trouble. Did I just say don't worry? I can't help you, babe. Get in! Don't dawdle in the doorway, bitch. This house. Rachel, look out! My family for generations. 
Why would you do that? Oh, that got me all the way to my feet. Yay. Get in, Elena. What are you thinking? Nothing but blood. She does look like she's asking for it, doesn't she? Be alone while you're Father? Oh my god, gun. Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. Move, Elena, move. He said my name. Father! Wait, it's not Elena! Oh my god, Elena, you f idiot. Elena! Oh my god. Did you enjoy the characters, the, the way the models were made, the way they looked, the way they interacted with you? Yes. Um, yeah, all the graphics and stuff of all the people, that was really good. Like I really felt like when you fell under the house and there was all those dead bodies, like that was so, ugh, like it really, yeah, it was very good. And I, I haven't played, I, I played this game and finished it when it first came out. So it's, it's, it's a few years old, this game. Oh. So it, it was a flat screen game, so you can play it on flat screen. Okay. Then it came out for VR when VR first launched. And I've only just got around to <laughs> going video for it now. Oh, I wonder what that comparison of the like flat play and then the VR. I've played it flat screen. It's not, it's, there's, there's still parts of it. There's this blobby baby that chases you at one part, which is terrifying <laughs> in flat screen. But VR just ramps everything yeah. up to the next level. It really yeah. does. Screwdriver. Good. Get it. I see it. I want it. I like it. I get it. <laughs> Ta da! Demon Crest. Looks like that could fit. Demon face. Oh, excuse me. Rude. But a child and his devotion to you is questionable. Oh, give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your down. Yes, mother. And don't be a sore loser. Ooh, I can't fight this many. I can't fight this many. Because at times, like, you would hear stuff and like, you could hear the monsters, like, creeping around outside. So I'd have to be, like, looking around while also trying to do stuff. And it was really good. Now, you played for about two hours and you basically are at what we'd say the start of the game. You made it into the castle. Okay. Now, there's, um, there's like, two or three. I imagine what you did to get into the castle. There's another three or four sections around that same kind of length. Awesome. So those monsters that you saw when you were in the castle, each of them has a separate part of the castle or a part of the village that you have to go oh, to, to. like Mother Miranda's cast of weirdos. Yeah. They all have a. So you got a little oh, cool. doll and you go into the doll's house and there's okay. creepy dolls everywhere. And then you got the big tall um, yeah. vampire or Kate as we'll call her. Is she a vampire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So that's that that was the next section you're on, and then you've got the, the metal guy and the little boggy fish guy as well. So there's like four different sections to complete, and then you end up with the uh with the climax of the game. Run for your life. No Jump, jump, get out, get out, run! Jump down! Run, run, run! Uh, uh, does that mean go backwards? Oh my god, this guy's gonna break the bridge. What a dick. How did this, like, apparently innocent town not know there was a torture chamber here? Riddle me that. Uh, Jesus. I'm coming, Rose. I'm coming. So about eight to ten hours, really, if you're going to play okay. it through. Yeah. Would you like to play more? Oh, my God. I'd love to finish it. Now, look, this game is $54 if you buy it fresh from the store. Usually it's on sale, though. Now it's on sale for 26 Australian dollars over here. Value for money. Bargain. Yeah, it's, it's one of the best games yes. on the system. Go on, really buy it. Is. Absolutely. Well, look, we do this at the end of every virtue reel. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Ten thumbs up. Oh, yeah. As many as we can. Thumb it, thumb it all the way. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's Amazing. A it's a great game. Yeah. Memberships are now live on the channel, so if you want to see Rachel's full two-hour playthrough of Resident Evil Village, then for the price of a cup of coffee every month, you can see her, and not only Rachel, but all my other friends that come over to play VR. So 
loads and loads of content. All that's left to say is hit that button down below and in the Style Level Werewolf, like and, and subscribe. <laughs> That's a good one. No, I like that. <laughs> Thank you at home for watching. Rachel, thanks for coming over. Thank Bye. You. Bye. So what's a porn star's favourite horror movie? Mm. Uh, uh... Night of the Giving Head. <laughs> you have one for me? Yes. Okay. Um, I tried to hire a landscape gardener, but she said she couldn't help me because my garden's portrait. <laughs> Dear God. This is why I do the jokes. <laughs>